Hey, it's Kathy Milligan of The Glass Studio. Welcome to my videos. So the last time I was here, I did a video on enamels and decals. And um, it was pointed out to me that because of the gauge I used, it was pretty thin, 26 gauge, I should have counter enameled. And you know, my viewer was right. So here we are to talk about it. So when you have um, a piece of uh, copper that's this thin, 26 gauge, it can bend. So yeah, that could pose a problem because, oops, there goes the enamel. And see, there's nothing on the back but copper. Okay, so what we want to do is put something on the back similar to this, or a lot of times we use the debris, the excess uh, enamels that, you know, you don't throw away because you don't waste anything. So the back of this particular pendant is done with a mix of, you know, leftovers. And you put them in a container and, and then use them later. Some people like to use black, um, as is on this one. So then you've got your black. I personally do prefer having a color on the back so that I have pretty on both sides. Now, let's talk about what you need to do to counter enamel. So um, I've got this fancy tripod here, and this holds the piece above this mesh. And I don't know if you can see, but this mesh is covered with enamel. A lot of times, yeah, I just throw it right on there, do my enamels, hit it with the torch, more enamels, hit it with the torch, and away I go. Well, when you're gonna have enamels on both sides, you need this tripod. So that's why this is here. So, I like to personally do the um, backside first, and then after it's cooled down, flip it over and do the pretty stuff on the front. Sometimes you will find that there are little marks from the trivet that show up on the backside of your pendant, and that's easier to clean up later than it is to clean up your front. So, um, things to remember, use your tripod, keep it elevated, and um, you know, use your debris or use a color. But it is important when you're using a thin gauge of copper to counter enamel. So I hope this addressed the issue. Um, if you have any other questions, you can send me an email at info at theglassstudio.net. Um, subscribe, there'll be lots more videos coming. Uh, go to my Instagram, at the glass studio, and like me on Facebook, and now go make something.